From the News Channel 5 Network, I'm Rebecca Schleicher with your morning headlines. Happening now, Metro Police continue the search for a person who shot a delivery driver. This happened just before 8 o'clock yesterday morning at a Walgreens on Murfreesboro Pike. Police say the driver was delivering medication and got into an argument with the person who shot him. That gunman took off through a parking lot behind the building and has not yet been found. If you recognize them, call police. And she is accused of shooting and killing a 74 year old man who was just taking out the trash at the time. And today, Myesha Brown is headed back to court. The now 17 year old is charged with killing Ruse and Wang outside his Nashville home in 2017. She was arrested and held behind bars on a $100,000 bond. But you may remember crowdfunding got her out before she was rearrested. Today's hearing is a discussion between attorneys and the judge. Stick with News Channel 5 for updates. And THP wants to remind drivers to be safe this holiday weekend. For drivers, slow down. Be extra alert of children in the road. Don't wear a mask while driving and never drink and drive or drive distracted. Their tips for parents are to accompany your child while they're trick or treating. Use flashlights. Don't let them wear masks that may cause them not to be able to see clearly. Now let's get a check of that trick or treater forecast with Leland. All right, around the area today, it's going to be cold for those trick or treaters this evening. A freeze warning is out really for the entire area overnight tonight into tomorrow. It starts at 11 p.m. tonight, but a freeze warning is out for all of the News Channel 5 area. For our seven day, that 42 is an afternoon temp. Temperatures are dropping and will continue to drop. We'll have wind chills around the freezing mark for the trick or treaters in that five to eight time frame this evening. 30 tonight, 50 tomorrow, and then we gradually warm back to the low 60s by Tuesday and Wednesday. Have a happy and safe Halloween from all of us here at News Channel 5.